Uh, a woman who has been told she is facing jail after being caught pleasuring herself on a bench outside Waitrose. Uh, Beverly Dean, 54, exposed her breasts as she committed the solo act in front of a pair of workers who saw her through her office window. When police arrived at the scene in Norwich, wet Cheshire, they found a hoard of sex toys and lube in her handbag. She cried as as she admitted outraging public decency at 3:30 p.m. on Friday 20 on February 25th this year. Prosecutor Shannon Carey said the defendant is seen to put her fingers in her mouth, then proceed to put them between her legs. She appeared to be masturbating. She had her mobile phone in her right hand and appeared to be filming herself or make or taking photos of herself performing the act. She stopped to smoke a cigarette, <laughs> then <laughs> continued to suck her fingers and place them between her legs. After she did this, she wait, st- wait, so these guys who filed this complaint or whatever, they were watching for a while to get all these details. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it. They got all these, uh, yeah. Should we call the cops? Hold on a minute. <laughs> Let's wait 25 minutes. <laughs> After she did this, she stood up from the bench with both breasts exposed. Uh, her blouse was unbuttoned and her coat was hanging off her shoulders. Officers were called and the defendant was arrested. Her property was searched and an assortment of sex toys and lubricants were found in the defendant's bag. Dean's defense solicitor Shane O'Neill said it was one, it was her first defense and should be dealt with by the probation service. He said we need to know what is happening within her life as she is getting to an age of committing this offense. Uh, and committing this offense. Uh, there was some suggestion that she was filming herself, but when police took the f- took her phone, there was nothing on it. The officer looked at it and said there was nothing recorded on it. There was no room it's for like, any- damn. <laughs> there was no room for any children to go past. We are not disputing that children may have been in the area, but what she said is that there weren't any children in the area. She accepts responsibility for what she said. Magistrate James Fawson said, "Between now and your next court appearance, the things that need to happen." are that you stay in regular contact with your legal representative and fully cooperate with the probation service. Dean's next hearing is August 12th. I mean, come on. I mean, she was in, inside the office. That I mean, that should be fine, right? I think looks had something to do with it. <laughs> like, was, is that her? Yeah, if she was like 20 or something, then... Maybe it's something she'd been doing, you know, for a while, and like she finally passed that barrier... <laughs> like, nah, she was too old. <laughs> but these like peeping toms, did they? I, I picture them with one of those like, uh, you know, f- uh, little like uh, flip notebooks like reporters have, and they're like taking notes. Oh, she wetted her fingers. <laughs> then she had to smoke. <laughs> Nine twenty two. You know, <laughs> wetted her fingers again. That kind of thing. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. This seems like really conservative. I mean, she was in our office. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how exposed her office is to the world, but... You know what's like crazy? What? Is there's, like, certain countries, I think, in Europe, where they, they don't even have, like, public decency laws, and they'll even, like... Like, some people, like, screw in the streets and stuff occasionally. Yeah, like in Amsterdam, you can just, like, fuck on top of your car or whatever. <laughs> that seems so crazy, but, I mean, I guess that's better than having all these, like, stodgy laws like this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean... Pretty much anything you can become desensitized to, so I don't know if I really care. Like, I'm not dying to see it. <laughs> like, I walked up on an old guy taking a shit one day. I was like, I didn't need to see that, but, yeah. you know, I guess he had an emergency. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's really... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's just bizarre. I feel like this lady is like being publicly shamed for no real reason. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. In, in like caveman times, everybody was doing this in front of everybody, right? Like probably through most of our human history, we've been doing this like publicly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine like back back in those times where pretty much people were introduced to sex by like looking across the tent yeah. like your parents are fucking over there? <laughs> like, oh, okay, that's how it's done. <laughs> I've heard it in like some like primitive cultures, kind of because of that. Like a lot of people will actually have sex at a, like a very young age, like kids with other kids and stuff like that. Yeah, I can see that. They Man, can, uh, I once I once heard an interview with a guy. I don't remember who he was, <clears throat> but he said his parents were like very like hippie ish, 
And like as kids, like his parents and his siblings, like for a long time, just like lived out of a van, basically. Yeah. And he said his parents would like have the kids go out, and then they'd screw in the van. And yeah. he said they were like sometimes very loud about it. They were very like <laughs> open about it. It's just like ugh craziness yeah i would not want to have uh experienced that <laughs> i'm getting trauma just thinking about it <laughs> it's pretty bad it's pretty bad that there's people like that wait didn't uh wasn't there a story you had that experience with, or you like walked in on your parents once yeah i don't like to think about it yeah i don't blame you <laughs> <laughs> And then I had a sister. Now she's older than you. <laughs> you just look at me in the eye and be like, we'll never talk about this again. Never. <laughs> I will suppress that memory. Yeah. Modern day today, they're like, why are you like this? <laughs> it just zooms back in time. <laughs> That's where it all began. Your origin stories. <laughs> It's your fault, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of that Simpsons where, like, he has that repressed memory of, like, uh, Smithers' father dying or whatever, but it sets him off and he's just like, ah, and he's like, screams for like a week straight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that one. It's pretty funny. <laughs>